Hello, welcome to our bar together. Um, very limited props that you will need for today. And as you can see, I don't have a mat. A slippery floor will suffice. If you have carpet, you're always welcome to um, adjust and I will give you those adjustments as we go. The only thing that you're going to need is either a tea towel that you can slide along or you could also wear big fuzzy cozy socks um, and those will do the job as well so just taking a moment together to warm up can we inhale reach those arms up overhead then as we exhale let them come down nodding your chin forward moving like a little halvesy scoop of the upper body inhale push through the feet reach those arms up exhale bring it down and around two more inhale to lift it up Exhale, scoop and round. One more time. Inhale it up. Exhale to scoop and round and then keep rounding as you melt and bring your body forward in space. Taking an inhale at the bottom to feel a nice bend in the knees, bit of a length through the back of the body here. And then as you exhale, push through your feet, fire your glutes to help bring you all the way back up, reaching those arms overhead, inhale, exhale. It's like I'm doing an eagle arm to scoop myself down in space, rounding my body forward into that forward fold. Now, if your head doesn't like being below your heart, you're always welcome to come up a little more halfway um, so that you're not bringing the blood pressure down. If you'd like to give your feet, your legs a little paddle out, you're welcome to do that here. Maybe give yourself a little rub along the backs of your hamstrings, your calves, warm them up a little bit into your ankles, maybe into your shoulders, into your neck, giving your head a nice release. And then let's straighten out through our right leg. Let's bend through our left knee and let's place our left hand on the floor as we open our chest up and out to the side. Take a breath in here, take a breath out. Bringing yourself all the way down. Let's go the other way. So bending into our right knee, planting our right hand on the floor, taking that twist, taking a breath in here, bringing it all the way back to center, bending down through our knees and rolling ourselves all the way up. Inhale, the arms come up overhead. Let that right hand come down to the side as your left hand takes the side, stretch over. You're always welcome to hang on to a wall here. Take a breath in. As you breathe up, body comes all the way up. Let's go the other way. Inhale, your left arm brings up. Side, stretch over. Take a breath in. Bring yourself all the way up. One more time. Inhale, both arms reach up overhead. Nice big stretch. Maybe come up onto your tippy toes and then bring it down little shoulder side. So like I said, you're going to need a towel or some slippy socks. So if you want to start putting those on, you can. Before we crack on with that, I just want to get the legs moving a little bit, sans sliding. So we're going to take a bend into those knees, sticking your bum back. I'm going to go sideways, sticking your bum back behind you, drawing those ribs in. You want to feel like you're doing a plank here. Tailbone sticking out behind you. Let's take an inhale to get a little lower and then exhale to come up to standing. Inhale to bend back, exhale to stand. Inhale, exhale, out. stick it out. Pull it in. So even though I'm taking my body weight back in space, I'm still pressing through all four corners of my feet. I'm giving myself a little opportunity to get some movement through my shoulders here, to even squeeze into those triceps. If you have light hand weights that you'd like to add in, you can. This movement is more about getting our body warmed up, about getting our heart rate starting to connect in with us here. I mean, your heart should be going all the time anyway, but just to catch up with the fact that we're going to be moving in space here. Squeeze, take it back, exhale, squeeze. We're going for 10. We're going for nine. Knowing it's really easy to sort of collapse in here, we want to keep it really nice and collected in the upper body. For three, for two, Last one, let's hold. Holding it here, drawing that belly in. Can you take your bum and lower an inch down? Keep checking in, knees are over toes, toes are pressed into the floor. You're gonna push up just an inch. I'm keeping my arms in beside me so that I can really just focus on what's happening through the legs here. Coming down an inch and then up an inch. Going down an inch, up an inch. Let's go for four, press. Let's go for three, press, belly strong for two, we bring it up, last time we're going to pulse down and down for ten, for nine, for eight, seven, six, five, keep pressing through those toes, three, 
two, one. Bring it up, give your legs a little shake. Let's take those legs and turn them out so they're wider than my hips are here. Ooh, jiggling into the hips, getting warm. We're gonna find that bent position again. So my knees are right over my toes. My legs are turned out. I'm still tall through my spine. And I'm gonna stand up tall, bend it low, stand tall. And so I just wanna be really mindful of my knees. Bar, we're doing a lot of standing, a lot of recruiting from being up in that standing position, which means that there is weight bearing happening through our knees. Now, if we didn't recruit our muscles and we just sunk in and then somehow made our way up to standing, then that would mean that we were relying exclusively on our joints. I mean, your muscles will be working because they have to, but nowhere near as much as they could be. So as you're going down in space, can you press your feet into the floor, all four corners, all 10 toes, across your arch, into your heel, and then squeeze those legs in towards each other. Even as you lower down, the plie is not a break here. As you stretch up, it means that you've already started recruiting muscles <laughs> Oh, getting tired. Already started recruiting muscles so that as you bring yourself up, there's more stuff here. We're zipping up through the thighs, squeezing in through the glutes. I'm just keeping my hands right at center with me here. Let's go for four. Let's go for three. For two. Last one. Hold it. You're going to come up an inch. You're going to go down an inch. Up a wee inch. Down a little inch. Up an inch. Down a little inch, Whew, little pulses as we're here. Now remember, I just said, if we were to be completely inactive in our contraction of our muscles, then we would be really heavily bearing into our knees, which is not a happy business for anybody. So what we want is to keep hugging the thighs in, and it's almost like you're, even though you're going up and down, which we're still doing, little inches, it's almost like you're trying to levitate out of your joints. Does that make sense? So that we're not like really heavy in them. We're trying to move the spaces around them. For three, are your legs getting warm? Two, mine definitely are. Last time, little pulses down for 10, for nine. And even though I'm going down, those legs squeezing in, the thighs wrapping around, the quad strong, strong. For two, last one, let's bring it up. Help keep it out of my knees. Walk your feet in, give them a little, little shake. Last little business for our arms. So whew, catching your breath a little bit. You can set yourself up so that your feet are a parallel hip distance. Make sure that you can see me properly here. And let's take just a little sit back. So I'm just in a little tip with my torso. I'm not in my biggest, biggest squat here, but I am still pressing through my toes. I am trying to keep my knees over my toes and I'm trying to keep my hips level. Those arms, can you imagine you have hand weights here? We're gonna lift up. We're gonna bring them down and we're gonna lift. Now you don't have to use hand weights here because remember, we're just starting to mobilize right now. So if you wanted to, just some light ones, don't go with anything too heavy. What I would like you to feel is how you can use your own mind-body connection to squeeze into those shoulder blades for five. I have fists with my hands so that I'm turning on, I'm squeezing all the muscles in my arm. Three, for two, Last one, you're gonna bend your elbows. So remember, I'm on a diagonal, which means that my form is on a diagonal as well. I'm gonna move from my shoulder and rotate those arms down and then rotate them up. Rotate them down, rotate them up. Rotate, 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 rotate. We got it. As you're rotating through that shoulder, tempting to start to collapse through the belly. This is your ab warm up as well, yeah? I really like to stick with a traditional Pilates breath where we're inhaling through our noses and exhaling through our mouths. So if that works for you, you're welcome to keep that in mind as well. We're going for three. Still thinking about the full work of the shoulder here. Two, still thinking a little bend in those knees. Last one, we reach down, we bring it up and then hold. Now you're still on a diagonal. Can you shoot your arms forward as if you were gonna grab a hold of something and then pull them back? So we're still doing that drawing forward and that back, but we're on a diagonal now. It changes the musculature of your shoulder. Reaching forward, squeeze it back. Reach it forward and squeeze. It's fun when we get to experiment with 
not relying on props, but really relying on our own mind body musculature because you can actually be really effective with that. And I mean, the more we feel what's happening in our body, the more we can maybe control what's happening in our body, the more say we have what's happening, right? And I love that. I love the more agency we have, the better. Reach it forward, squeeze it back. Reach it forward, squeeze it back. Let's go for five, for four, for three. You got it. For two, breathe it in. One more time, pull it in, stand it up, give those arms a little shake. Nice job. Grab some water if you have it. I'm going to grab my water right here with us. Okay. So you're going to grab your towel or your slidey socks, and we're going to pop our left foot onto the towel, and we're going to bend into those knees again. So that little bit of a bend. Now, what I want you to feel is if you were to stick your bum all the way back, your toes would maybe lift up off of the floor. Sometimes that's what we're going for. But for this case, we're not. I'd like you to really glue those toes down. And as much as your bum's going back, I'd like you to sort of feel like you're doing a teeter-totter. Like your bum is going back, but your gaze is going forward. So there's this duality of tension here. That's what we want. That's going to be important. I know it's kind of finicky, but it's important. Keep going with that. So you're going to slide your towel leg out to the side, and then you're going to pull it in. You're going to slide it out. You're going to pull it in. We're staying pretty square for these first few to the side. Now, the side leg, it's pretty basic what it's doing. It's reaching out. My heel is coming off a little bit. It doesn't have to. It can stay pretty short depending on what, how this is feeling for your body. Yeah. This leg is moving out, so there is some side bum squeezing, and there is a contraction up through that thigh. What I want you to think more about, though, is your standing leg. Can we keep thinking about that duality of pitching forward and backwards? All 10 toes into the floor, belly nice and strong. And then maybe you get a little bit lower, but we're not looking for the bum to the floor here. We're like halfway. Reach and squeeze. We're going for four, for three. For two, we're going to keep going same leg. It's going on a backwards diagonal. Diagonal and then in. Diagonal and then in. Diagonal. And now I'm keeping my heel down on this guy. But again, you could keep your heel down. You could have your heel lifted. It's a little slight bit of an internal rotation to get you there. It's on a diagonal and then it's in. It's on a diagonal and then it's in. And this whole time, you're standing knee. If I turn sideways for you, so reaching, you've got it for five, for four, for three, it's getting spicy, two, the arms are just here to support you, one, now you take it right behind you, reach it back, squeeze it in, now my heel is popping off here, checking in, so notice if your weight is starting to drift back, if your toes are popping off, toes are pressing straight down. We have the energy of our tail, our pelvis back, but the rest of our body tipping forward to counter you, yeah? So it's pretty much even down through the line of your bum. Are we feeling spicy? I hope the answer is yes. We have four more here for four, for three, for two. Last one, pull the leg in. Roll up to the toes of your towel foot. Make that towel foot really light. We're pulsing down on our standing leg. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5. You've got it. 4. I'm right here with you. 3, 2. Last one. Bring it up. Nice job. Whew, give your bum a little wiggle. I'm just going to scoot my little plant babies out the way because I feel like it's going to make it a bit easier. Nothing like recording live, right? We just, we figure it out as we go. All right, second side. Let's warm that tush up. So, bending down into your knees. Whew. Finding the alignment on the second side. So, still thinking about knees over toes, right? Like, that's the alignment I want because I don't want my knee to fall in and I don't want it to go out. I want it to stay very parallel, which means that we're strengthening up our parallel muscles of our legs. Amazing. Well, they're not parallel muscles, the muscles that support us in parallel, yeah? All 10 toes, are, or all five toes, I should say, are pressing down into the floor, as well as your heel. And there's this beautiful lengthening, but drawing in at the same time, right? Because our core is supporting us here. Being nice and rooted in your left foot this time, your right leg goes out to the side, and then pull it in. 
Now, if I keep my heel down, it's a shorter line. If I lift my heel up, it's a longer line. It's up to you, whatever's gonna feel good for you. But know that even though we are slipping up through the thigh of this leg, we are reaching that leg away from us. The standing leg, our supporting leg, is really what we're getting into right now. Breathe. And as you work here, there's lots of little housekeeping moments you can think about. You can always check back down with that leg, play with your weight distribution. Maybe you can get a little lower. Everything is on here, yeah? There's nothing that's taking a vacation. So we wanna protect that knee, right? Which is why, just like turn those muscles on. For three, for two, it's getting hot. We're going with the same leg, but it's a backwards diagonal this time backwards diagonal so it looks very similar to the side it looks very similar to the back because it's that in between like pizza you place yeah <sighs> again depending on if you're lifting your heel up or not you could you'd have a longer line a little bit more range or you could keep that heel down whatever's going to feel good for you and your foot but we're focusing on that standing leg that standing bum that's our money here you got it maybe head a little bit lower for three for two, Ooh, it's happening. Last one, keep going right behind you. Now my heel definitely comes off the floor. Reach and squeeze, reach and squeeze. Okay, it's exciting business, it's happening. Keep checking in with your arrangement here, right? Our muscles, our body is gonna try to help us by like subconsciously bringing you up, maybe changing your weight distribution a little bit. So can you really stay focused on this sort of teeter-totter balance of toes down, heel down, bum back, but torso forward? It makes it really stinking exciting. Let's go for five, oh, for four. I feel it too, for three, for two, Last one, pull the leg in for reeds. Roll up to your toes, make your toes light. Focus on that standing leg. Here we go, 10, nine, eight, seven. You can do it, six, we've got this. Five, pulse it, four, three, two, one. Bring it up to standing, nice job. Oh, give your legs a little wiggle. That was exciting, it's totally not done. We have a few more rounds to do. Grab some water. I know I need some. Okay, round two. Going back to that first side. Bending our knees, sticking your bum back. Finding that teeter-totter balance position, right? Where we're pressing down through our toes, sticking out through our bum, but connecting into our body. As your left leg goes to the left, can your right arm twist down and around to the right. So if you have light hand weights and you would like to use them, you're welcome to here. They're not necessary though. And as you pull your left leg in, can you rotate yourself around to the left? So we're going body to the right, leg to the left, leg comes into center, body turns to the left. Reach and twist. Just adding a little bit here. Now our hips are doing their best possible job to stay completely level with each other, yeah? So they're not doing huge funky movements here. Squeeze, Whoa. reach and squeeze. And so what that means is that that rotation has to start to happen from a little higher up. It's happening, we're adding in some obliques here. It's not gonna feel the same as if you were on your back for sure, but anytime you're rotating your body, we're adding a little bit more work through the abs. Now that arm, you're really, really reaching low and then pulling it up. And so as you reach low, you can maybe bend into that knee a little bit more. We're going for three, it's exciting. For two, pulling it in. One more time, find center, that leg goes. Diagonal, stand tall. Diagonal, stand tall diagonal and stand. So it's going out to the back, but not directly behind me, yeah? It's still on a little, a little diagonal slice backwards. Reach and squeeze. So adding layers to what we're doing with our body, right? Before we were staying completely down, now we're adding the bum and then add it up. 
stick it out, pull it up. And you need glute hamstring in order to do that. Now we're not fully thrusting our hips forward here. We're just bringing it up center. Squeeze it back, pull it in for five. Again, my hands can be wherever you need them to be for three, for two, Last one, pull it in, you stay where you are. You're gonna take your towel leg. It's going to bend and reach and squeeze again. Reach and squeeze, reach and squeeze. You got it, just like before, right behind you. Reach it back, squeeze it in. Reach it back, squeeze it in. We're back to staying nice and level. We're back to our home base, finishing with something we've done before that we know how it feels. Check in with that standing knee, right over the middle alignment of that foot. Reach, I'm hoping it's spicy for you. For five, so much glute happening. Four, you're rocking it. For three, for two, last one, pull the leg in, get low through the glutes. Stick that bum out, draw your ribs in, lengthen from head to tail, belly stable, roll up to your towel toes, standing leg pulses down 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, breathe into it, three, it's exciting, two, last one, stand it up, Ooh, give your bum a little shake, right away to that second side, please, so we're taking the towel over, this is the one where we twist, right, so getting set up right away, knees over the toes, tail reaching back, belly nice and stable, we're going to take that right foot this time, and it goes out. Now, as your right foot goes out, can you twist your body to the left, reach your right arm down beside your left foot, and then as your leg comes in, you're twisting it around. So you're reaching and squeezing. You're reaching and squeezing. Now, we've done a little squeezy action of those shoulder blades before, right? That was in our warm-up. So you can add that in here. Nope. Problem. Now I was cheating a little bit. I could definitely get lower and then I pull it up. Get a little lower as you reach, squeeze up and twist. Lower as you reach, squeeze up and twist. Gorgeous opportunity to really check in on your pelvic stability here. We want to make sure that the muscles that support our pelvis are strong, that they're adaptable, and our body is rotating and sitting and standing and leaning forward and reaching back all day long, right? So we wanna make sure that we add those movements into our exercise. We're going for two. How's your standing leg? Is it getting exciting? Last one, mine is for sure. We go to this side, squeeze, down and up. Whew. Reach, push. My stand, my moving heel is pushing down into the floor. And it's also like I'm squeezing into those legs, right? We're going on that backwards diagonal. Back and squeeze. Back, there's also a really nice moment for those inner thighs. It's teeny tiny, it would be bigger if we were doing this side to side. Back diagonal, reach. Back diagonal, reach giving just that extra little bit of attention, right? To make sure that our knees are not doing the work. Our knees are not bringing us up in space. Drive your heel down into the floor. Slow it down if you need to, yeah? There's no need for us to match pace. Pick a pace that really works for you. I'm firing through my heel all the way up my hamstring into my bum to bring me upright. For four. Exciting stuff, three, hopefully we're getting warm. Two, last one, we're going right behind us. We reach and we squeeze, we reach and we squeeze. And this is our home base, right? Nothing fancy here, we've been here before together. And in, there's definitely some back bum action happening on that back leg, but our standing leg is like so amazing, right through the side of that glute. Keep taking your torso like a little tip forward, but your bum is trying to counter you, your pelvis is trying to counter you by reaching back. Hips are level, 10, nine, we can do it. Eight, we're here together. Seven, six, spicy fire, five, you've got it. Four, three, two, 
Last one, pull the leg in, roll up to your tower toes, pull standing leg, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Bring it up, nice job. Whew. Give yourself a little wiggle, give yourself a little zhuzh, whatever you need. We're gonna take that towel and just pop it out of the way. We're gonna bring ourselves down onto hands and knees. And let's just give our spine a little bit of a second to take a bit of a break, giving our, our pelvic floor a little second to take a bit of a break. So as you inhale, we're lengthening out tail to head without sinking through our bellies. We're just drawing our chest forward. As you exhale, find your glutes, scoop your belly, round your spine. You're trying to get a nice round curve here. Inhale to lengthen out through the tail, lengthen out through the chest. As you exhale, scoop and round, dropping through that head. One more time as you inhale, feel like you're opening through the back of your pelvis here, like you have little peacock feathers. Exhale, scoop and round. Bringing ourselves all the way back to neutral. We're gonna tuck through our toes. Now you could totally do this with your toes down so that uh, you like your toe knuckles that is on are on the floor um, but if tucking is an option of your toes feel free you're going to take those knees and walk them just slightly forward so not you're not in a perfect tabletop anymore your knees are a little closer towards your hands take a breath in here through the nose take a breath out here through the mouth like you're blowing something away from you. We don't ever want to feel like our exhale is a relaxing breath here. We really want our exhale to be our ribs drawing down, our belly button opening wide, our pelvic floor drawing up. Take your breath in here. As you breathe out, you're going to lift those knees to hover just an inch. And then do one more. Exhale, lift them just an inch. And then lower down. Kind of exciting, but I feel like we can up the ante. Can you take your arms without hyperextending? So little micro bend. You're going to push the floor away from you. And notice as I do that, I drop into a nice long spine. I keep pushing the floor away. I'm going to pull my arms as if my hands are trying to traction wide of each other. And then I hug my heels of my hands down towards my knees. I'm long from head to toe. Now keep all of that upper body business. And as you exhale, now add your knees. And can you hear my voice shaking? It becomes harder. Inhale down. Check in with all the upper body stuff. Exhale, lift your knees to hover. <sighs> Inhale, gentle little tap. Exhale, little knee hover. <sighs> We're gonna go for three, little lift. We're gonna go for two, keep pushing that floor away, keep opening your hands wide, keep hugging heels of your hands down towards your knees. Last one, we're gonna hold it here, 10. Now your heels are reaching back, but your knees are pulling forward. For five, for four, for three, for two. Last one, lower down, give it a little shake. Exciting business. If that felt like the most fun you want to have with that, that shape today, feel free to stay there. If you'd like to add a little more spice, if that feels reasonable, you're going to grab your towel. <sighs> fun things, yeah? Fun things. Okay, so we're going to take our toes and we're going to pop our toes on that slidey towel again. We're going to bring ourselves onto our hands and knees. And before we start lifting things, we want to make sure we can feel that really solid foundation through our upper body. Yeah. So we're pushing heels of the hands from the shoulders down into the floor. Fingertips, finger pads are also engaged here. Yeah. So we're not weight bearing down into our wrists. You could also, sorry, excuse me for not saying this before. You could also be on your forearms here. Yeah. So pushing the floor away. Draw your hands nice and wide. Heels of your hands are hugging down. Toes are just a little forward of your hips and they're tucked up onto your towel. You could also do this toes down if tucking is not an option. Take a breath in and as you breathe out, lift to hover again. Let's do one more just to home base it out. You're gonna lift to hover and hold. Now, can you keep all of your upper body stuff? Squeeze your bum, inhale, inhale. I said to slide your legs away and then Exhale to pull your legs in towards you. Inhale. Now remember all that upper body stuff though, yeah? Exhale to pull it in. Inhale, squeeze and reach back. Exhale to pull knees to chest. One more time. Inhale to reach back. Exhale to pull it in. Hold for five. Hold for four. Hold for three. Keep pushing the floor away. Two. Heels of hands in. One. Lower down. Take a little break. Nice job. Give your wrist a little, a little shaky shake.
We're going to return to that in a second, but I want to flip us onto our back and do a little bit of a different ab experience from our backs. If you have the towel, you're welcome to roll it up like a little pillow so that as you come onto your back, you have a little something for your head. I recommend for, for most of us, as long as you're not lifting your hips up, it's nice to throw something behind your head when you lay down to do ab work so that we don't get into our necks. Bringing ourselves all the way down here. Now, of course, you could have a mat or a carpet if you wanted to. Um, that's totally fine. Starting with our feet planted on the floor, we're gonna take a breath in through the nose. And let's just exhale, <sighs> let that breath go. Inhaling in through our nose and exhale it out to let that breath go. Now we were working in a lovely neutral spine there. That's what position our plank takes where our pelvis is level. But for what we're about to do, I'd like us to find a more supported imprinted position of the spine. So as long as you have a healthy spine, that's happy to move. Start with your hip bones and your pubic bone level. Take a breath in. And as you breathe out, we're gonna scoop so that that pubic bone, if there was a marble there, that marble would roll down into your belly button. You're gonna to inhale to release that out. And then as you exhale, scoop, drawing that marble down. One more time, inhale to release that out. Exhale to scoop and draw in. Our ribs are also sliding down, so it's like our belly button is a bit of a sinkhole and everything's drawing into the sinkhole. Your arms are gonna stay down on the floor for right now. Let's rotate our palms to face up. You're gonna take a breath in through the nose, please. And as you breathe out, can you roll up to your toes? Now my legs are apart still. Take a breath in. And as I breathe out, can I scoop deeper to lift those legs up? I'd like you to flex through your feet so that your heels are nice and active. And as you lifted your legs, notice if your low back came off of the floor. Can we continually keep scooping from that low belly, drawing the ribs down and in, yeah? So sink whole at that belly. We're gonna take our arms now. If it feels reasonable, you can take the arms and squeeze them and reach them up. Imagine there was something far away from you that you really didn't want close to you. And as you exhale, scoop the belly and pull Push that right leg away, zipping through your thigh, and keep scooping your belly. Inhale to pull that leg in. And then as you exhale, squeeze the bum. Left leg reaches away. Inhale to pull it in. Keep scooping and hollowing. Right leg reaches. Now it's not about keep going how low the leg goes. That's not where the challenge comes in. The challenge is maintaining the scoop of your pelvis. And so if you feel like you need to drop your leg lower, I challenge you to go like halfway as low as you want to, but scoop your belly more. <sighs> Inhale in, and as you reach your leg, you're trying to open the space in front of your hip. So you're scooping your belly, zipping your thigh, squeezing your glute, pushing away <sighs> and hollowing. <sighs> Now, I don't love using the cue zipping, keep going here, because it, it sends our energy right into the middle. And although that's true, I'd like you to keep thinking wide across the belly as well. It's a much safer place. So yes, we're drawing up, but we're opening at the same time. Inhale again, one more each side. Right side reaches away. Inhale in, left side reaches away. And then pull those legs in, gently lower them down. Give yourself a little rock side to side. We're gonna do that, a version of that again. We're lifting those legs back up. We're gonna change it up a little bit. So fire up through your arms again. Your arms could always be down if you would prefer the support. My head is still supported on my little tea towel. It just helps prevent throwing my neck into a weird place. I start neutral with my legs down, hip bones, pubic bone level. I take a breath in through the nose. And as I breathe out, I scoop. I'm going to keep scooping. I'm going to use my abs to roll up to my toes, check in, make sure that your belly is still scooped. And then I lift my legs up maybe one at a time or maybe at the same time. I'm going to flex out through my heels here. I'm going to take my hands now and place my hands against my thighs. So I want to make sure we don't curl up through the shoulders, that we don't jut out through the neck, the collarbones, the chest is staying pretty calm here. The work is going to happen from the trunk, our meaty part of our belly. You're going to take your breath in. And as you breathe out, can you scoop your belly? And can you push into those thighs? And as you're pushing into your thighs with your hands, your thighs are pushing back to resist you. So nothing is actually moving. They're just all scooping in on each other. Inhale to release that. 
And then exhale, push. Inhale to release that. Can you hear my breath change? And then exhale, scoop and push. We're going for three. We're going for two. One more time, you're gonna push and you're gonna hold. Now hold the pressure, squeeze the thighs into the hands, the hands into the thighs. As much as I'm pushing forward, I'm pushing from underneath. So my top of my shoulders are really calm. It's everything down and underneath me. I'm still radiating through those heels. I'm still squeezing everything in for five, for four, keep breathing for three, for two, for one, bring your legs in. A little bit of a check-in to make sure that you didn't let your low back scoop off of the floor there. Yeah, we want to keep our low back scooped into the floor. Okay, are we ready to come back onto our wrists and add a little bit of a little bit of fun stuff? You can rock and roll yourself all the way back up, or you can flip over to one side. Grab that towel again. And we're gonna pop our toes back onto it. Coming into that neutral alignment to start. So back into hands and knees, back into your body, reaching out in one long line. I recommend squeezing your legs together now because we're going to want our legs to move in one piece. Keeping knees right underneath your hips, push the floor away, pull the hands wide, hug heels of hands in, take your breath in. And as you exhale, you're going to lift your knees up. You're going to take a breath in and breathe out to slide the legs out. Now what I'd like to work on here is a bit of a pike. So make sure you have a safe distance for your head. You're going to breathe in and as you breathe out, can you lift your legs, bend your knees, round your spine as you pull your legs in. Inhale to reach out to neutral and then scoop from your low belly bend and pull yourself into your chest. Push yourself out. Use that upper body, squeeze your bum, round your low belly, bend your knees, pull your knees in. One more time, exhale, scoop around and pull those knees in. Reach out, lower down, take a break, good job. We're gonna do another round in case that was just a like, what in fresh hell is going on here? So lots of options here. You could also, if that was just like not happening from your upper body, which to be quite honest, it's incredibly hard to do. You could open your tea towel out so that the bottoms of your knees and your thighs are on, or not your thighs, sorry, your shins, or on the towel. You could start out in a kneeling plank and scoop and round and pull in this way. Does that make sense? You could also totally be on your forearms here and scoop and round and pull in this way. Really what we want to just pay attention to is that it's initiating from the low belly and the glutes are squeezing to support you, yeah? Gets the heart rate going. <sighs> super fun stuff, okay. Well, maybe not super fun. Maybe you, it's like, for you, it's like a low level of fun. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna come back up onto my toes, onto my tea towel, and onto my hands, but hopefully there was an option in there that works for you. If you're over this and wanna revisit something else we did, please feel free. Take a breath in through your nose. Take a breath out and feel all of that stability. <sighs> Pushing the floor away. Arms are opening wide. Heels of hands are hugging in. Thinking long through your spine, and as you exhale, you're going to lift your knees to hover. Inhale to reach them back into your plank, and then round your low belly, squeeze your bum, bend your knees a little bit to pull the legs in. Inhale to lengthen yourself out. Exhale, zip low belly, zip boot, squeeze and pull in. Two more here. Exhale, squeeze and round. One more time. Exhale, squeeze and round. Can you hold it for five? Hold it for four? Hold it for three? For two? For one, lower down. Let's take a little shell stretch together. Sending your bum back towards your heels, taking a breath in through the nose, exhaling it out through the mouth, and then bringing yourself all the way back up. Okay, you can ditch your little towel now if you'd like to. It's quite enough of that. And you're gonna bring yourself up to a wall. Let me see if I can. <laughs> like a little surprise wall there for us. So you're welcome to work from push-ups on the floor if you would like to. Um, I like bringing them onto the wall with bar because we don't always get the opportunity to do that and it just changes a little bit um, the accessibility of it. So I recommend trying at the wall um, if you've never done it before. We're gonna do a few rounds here. The first round, we're gonna start quite wide. So if you can set yourself up so that as you bend your elbows, elbows are right over your wrists, 
long line like I'm planking through my upper body. My legs are squeezing together. Three counts to lower ourselves down here and we're still thinking about pushing away. Three, two, one. Now my shoulders do not pass through my elbow. They stay level and then a strong push up. Down for three, two, one. Strong push. Down for three, two, one. Push. Three, two, one. Push. Three, two, one. Push up. We're going down. Two, one, push. Wide through the elbows, wide through the collarbone. Now I'm keeping my head turned towards you, just a little bit for sound. Push, but you're welcome to look straight forward. And up, down for a three. Can we feel like we're pushing from behind for four, two, three. Notice that my hips are coming with me. I don't leave them behind. For two, two, one, and push one more time. This time, push up halfway, hold, hold it here. Take a breath in, hold it here, supercharge those legs. Even though you're still bent, think about pushing the wall away. Can you come down one little inch and then up a little inch, hold. Down one little inch, up a little inch, hold. Down one little inch, up a little inch, hold. Down one little inch, up a little inch, hold. We're going for three, up a little inch, hold. We're going for two. Little inch, hold. One more time. Little inch, up, hold it here. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Come down, take a little break. <sighs> okay, arms are warming up. It's happening. Next version we're going to do, you're going to bring your hands really close together. So it's like you're making a little triangle from your fingertips and your thumbs. They're going right in front of you at that wall. <clears throat> and then you're coming up into those lovely long legs again. Now this time, your elbows are going to go on a downward angle, right? So if you bring your hands up really high, which is actually kind of fun, it's going to change what you're feeling in your tricep. If you bring them down, it's going to change what you're feeling. I like to keep them kind of right, like chest height. I just feel like I get the most bang for my buck there. But know that if you want to play, please feel free to play. I'm still wide across my collarbones, even though my hands are in front of my chest. I slowly lower. Three, two, one, push up. Three, two, one, push. Three, two, one, push. I was pushing a little too hard there. My wall made a funny noise. <laughs> two, one, like home reno push ups. Three, two, one, and push. Let's go four, two, one strong push for three and push for two two one and push one more time you know it's coming halfway hold come down one little inch push up a little inch hold my elbows are still bent through this whole experience and my legs are working so hard to support me my bum is actually shaking right now down a little inch up a little inch we're going for three we're going for two one more time, hold it up that inch for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, bring it down, nice job. Give yourself a little roll through those arms. Okay, last set here, yeah? We were taking our time going down, now we're going to take our time coming up. So instead of lowering in three counts, we're going to lower in one count and then push ourselves up gradually, yeah? I totally know you can do this. We're right out of the gate. We're going to do eight with a wide arm, eight with a, with a smaller arm, and then that's it for our push-ups together, yeah? So find those nice wide arms. <sighs> Picking it up a little bit. Fire up into those legs. Make sure you landmark so that your elbow is going over your wrist and your chest does not drop below your elbows. We have eight of these. We're going down in one. Push-up, three, two, one. Down for seven. Push-up, three, two, one. One, down for six, up for three, keep drawing the ribs in, down for five, three, two, one, down for four, up for three, two, one, down for two, push away, three, two, one, one more time, three, two, one, walk the hands in, lower down, one, push up, three, two, one, we're going two, we're down for three, push up, three, two, one, four, three, two, one, Five, three, we're going to eight. One, down for six, push up, three, two, one, 
Seven, push up three, two, one, eight. You can do it, three, two, we're almost done. Nine, three, two, one, 10, three, two, one. Drop down and find a plank. That was a fun surprise, right? I'm gonna come down onto my forearms. My legs are gonna go long. Belly is nice and stable. Can you take your right hand and scoot it forward a little bit? Turn your right fingertips in to face your left elbow as you make your way open into a side plank. Lift those hips up. Keep opening through your collarbones. Draw that elbow, that bottom elbow in. We're holding for eight, seven, six. You can look down. You can look forward. You can look up for two. Now, don't drop out of it. Bring yourself back down. Find your center plank. You're strong. You could be up on full legs. You could be up on hands. Take your left fingertips, reach them forward a little bit, and then spin them in to face your right elbow as you open up and plank on your second side. Keep opening the shoulder. Squeeze the bottom elbow in. Lengthen it up. You can look up. You can look forward. You can look down for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, three, two, one, bring it in. Take yourself all the way back into a shell stretch. Inhaling in through your nose, exhaling it out through your mouth. If being belly down does not feel great for you, you can bring yourself all the way up and flip onto your back. Let's walk your hands over to the left. Take a nice breath in, nice side stretch here. Breathe it out. Walk your hands through center. Take them over to the right. Breathing it in. Breathing it out. Walk your hands to center. Bring yourself all the way up. Let's give those shoulders a nice little roll here. We're gonna bring ourselves up to our wall. Ooh, it's a little dirty, that's okay. We're gonna take your left leg across it over your right knee and then just sit your bum back. Drawing those ribs in, still enjoying a bit of a stretch. I love bar because I feel like you can get so much bang for your buck. We worked in real isolation today of legs, of abs, of upper body, of arms, but you can always tie these things together and get like a half an hour, just like get it done, which is always really cool. Take that same leg, take that leg back behind you. Give yourself a bit of a stretch through the quad. Now I like to stretch here with my foot flexed, drawing my pelvis in, squeezing my legs together. And then that same leg is gonna come forward. We stick our bum back and just take a bit of a stretch here. You can also take that leg behind you. It's a little close to my door, sorry. And that works totally well too. Breathing it in, breathing it out. Bring yourself all the way up. We'll go the other way. So right angle over your left knee. Little stretch here. You could also totally do this on the floor if you'd like to. That's totally fine. Or any other version of this that, that feels good in your body. Take that same leg. Bring it around behind you so you can get a bit of a quad stretch here. Firing up into your glutes. Again, flexed foot is my preferred. Standing up as tall as we can. And then that same leg comes forward just for a little bit of calf hamstring. Again, you can always take it back behind you if you'd like to. Lots of possibilities here. Pull that leg back in. Let's inhale that left arm up again and let's take that little side bend over. If you have the wall, you're always welcome to kind of like lean into the wall a little bit. A little push, which feels nice. Bring your body up, let's inhale, take that right arm up, side bend over, breathing in here, breathing out. Both of our arms, inhale, reach it up. Exhale, bring it down, give yourself a squeeze. Thank you so much for being here with me for your bar class. I hope you have a fabulous rest of your day. You're all done, pat, pat on the back. Good for you, good work today.